Alicante, Spain marks our first port of call as we take to the high seas with a report from leg one of the Audi Med Cup. Boasting 12 teams, 10 nations, America's Cup winners and multi-Olympic medalists, the Audi Med Cup is the series that every top sailor wants to win. In five short years, it's developed into Europe's leading regatta circuit, pulling in the best in world sailing and technology. The Audi Med Cup series is a five circuit event that takes place during the uh, summer in the Mediterranean and uh, it without question presents all the sailors a unique challenge and when you get done racing one of these you know where you stand. With the America's Cup still in hiatus due to its ongoing legal complications, the Med Cup has taken on even more importance this year and it's now the primary focus for many of the world's most professional sailing teams. The pinnacle of the sport are the America's Cup and the Olympic Games, but I think we call the Audi Med Cup the Champions League of Sailing. It's not the Soccer World Cup, but it's probably the most competitive racing you find at the moment as a circuit. The fourth edition of the series will incorporate five top-ranking regattas, each consisting of ten races and all to be sailed in southern European waters. It's a race mainly in the Mediterranean, also touches a little bit the Atlantic, starting here in Alicante, moving then to France, Marseille, Cagliari in Italy, um, Portimao in Portugal, and uh, Cartagena to finish. Some venues will have more wind than others, some venues will have more shifty conditions, but the, you know, the good teams always come through, just as they do in motor racing or any sport. The best teams will float to the top. While each of the TP52 boats looks similar to the untrained eye, they're as subtly different from each other as the starting grid of a Formula One motor racing Grand Prix. Nowadays it's very difficult to make a boat that is absolutely much better than all the others. So uh, the advantages or the differences between boats are just the little details. There's a box rule and you can place your, your design uh, of your boat inside that box, but the box is small, so the differences are very, very small and if they wouldn't have different colours, you would struggle to differentiate those boats. Series organisers had enlisted Spanish international footballer Marcus Senna to add some celebrities to the official opening of the Alicante race village. The European Cup winner was as keen as anyone for proceedings to kick off. It's like a football team in a way. When you're out there, you need strength, you need someone to lead, like in the midfield. I think you have to keep a firm hand on things, because if you lose it, they might not go so well. Good advice indeed, and when the competition eventually got underway, last year's winners, Quantum Racing, were hopeful of defending their crown. Only one person's changed on the boat. Our bowman that uh, raced with us is under contract with Team New Zealand, and he chose to go over there instead of stay with us. And, uh, but other than that, it's the same team and, and uh, the same process. Argentine team Matador in fact made the strongest start to the new series, clinching victory in the season opener before adding a further win in race three. However, as they struggled to an eighth place finish in race four, the defending champions Quantum eased their way into the overall lead. Meanwhile, two second places in the first in the following three races suggested Artemis could figure. But when New Boys Emirates Team New Zealand emerged victors from race eight, they constructed a clear three-point lead for themselves ahead of the final race of the regatta. We're not a new team, but we're new to this class as a team. So I think we just want to have a good result and learn. And you know, there's five regattas, and ultimately, the dealing gets done after the last regatta when all the points get added up. So we just want to have a solid performance here, not not put ourselves in a position where we're in catch up. And, and learn to get faster for the following, the next regatta in Marseille in a month's time. There was to be one last twist though, as a disastrous seventh place finish pushed Emirates back down to third overall. Matador came through to win the leg finale and finished the regatta one point ahead of Artemis in the overall standings. Today we were able to put in practice everything that we talked about and everything went our side today. We had two nice clear starts, the boat was going well and we were able to to be in the top of the fleet from the beginning of each race and, and it was just good. Woohoo!